Hello, Paul Pluto, Paul Pluto channel. Today I'm doing paid reviews because I don't do shit for free. Remember, like, subscribe, and tell your friends about my channel. And uh, let's jump straight in. This here is a paid review. Uh, don't forget, look in the description for 10 ways you can keep me full time on YouTube. Paid reviews, the best, the best. 20, 30, 40, 50 dollars you'll ever spend. Quick wristwatch check. IWC Inji. Archie, I have just sent you 30 US because I know you don't do shit for free. I previously sent you money to ask your opinion on a few Sea Dweller options, but I found. Uh, options I found, but did not hear back. Ooh, that's no good. My question is, what would be the perfect watch to pair with a Rolex Daytona white dial 116520? I liked your video with the Speedmaster and the Explorer 2 Polar, so this would kind of be the opposite starting point and would love to get your opinion. Perfect pair. He's got a steel Daytona with a white dial and he wants to put something with it. Look, I tell you what I would tend to do is, I think a perfect pair like that, um, you could go a number of ways. If we stayed with Rolex, stayed with Rolex, I reckon we could flick in, I reckon if we, if you've got a steel Daytona white dial, let's go for a steel sub date. I reckon that would be so cool. Because we've got the white and black, One's a chronograph, one's a diver. One has a date, one doesn't. They're both Rolex automatics. Uh, that's, that's what I would do. The other option is, I tell you what another great option you could go with this is, if you've got the Daytona, I would say, let's keep a white dial. Let's go for a two-tone. Two-tone Datejust! Two-tone Datejust! What do you think of that? I reckon that would be a great combo. White dial, steel Daytona, and a white dial with Romans, two-tone Datejust. I mean, you could go Datejust 36mm, or you could go Datejust 2, or the new Datejust 41. Two-tone, white dial with Romans. It'd give you dress and sports for that really chic, chic type of look there. Um, the other option is, okay, the other, the other option is there, we could go for really cool, really cool uh, pieces. Um, you know, I was gonna say we could go for an Omega Speedmaster, Man on the Moon! Man on the Moon, but it's probably not prestigious enough to compete against the Daytona, what I think would be cool would be a Breguet Type 20. A Breguet Type 20 and the Rolex Daytona. Now the Breguet, they are very good buying on the used market. They tank a bit, uh, but it gives you the prestige, the refinement, and you've got the Rolex for that POW, that knockout power there. I tell you another piece that I think would go great with the Daytona, and that's a Reverso Grand, a Grand Date, a Reverso Grand Date, Jager Look Ultra Reverso Grand Date, big size, it'd be the ultimate dress watch, and you've got the Daytona for sporting events. So I reckon that'd be a cool way to go. And so that's our two-piece pairing as a combo deal, three-piece Three-piece meal deal. I would definitely say no date sub mariner. Steel no date sub. Uh, and I would also go for a GMT. A Batman! Batman! Batman, Daytona. And Batman, Daytona, and Subby. Three-piece combo deal. Chronograph, GMT, and Diver. Very, very perfect. And if we wanted to go four-piece, we could flick in a Steel Datejust, or Datejust 2, or Datejust 41. We could make it Steel with white gold bezel. Uh, 
probably wouldn't go two toed. I think keep it all, keep all the medals the same. But uh, what a great start! Absolutely perfect start. You got the the combo combo meal deal. That is such a great piece. The Daytona white Daytona white dial is so cool. Well done, Archie. Salutes you. Well done, big boy. Tell me what you guys think of that. Yeah.